Hello everyone, today let us take a look at uh, one more post function, one more scripted post function using a script now for Jira on cloud. Now the workflow that I was working on is this one. Of course not much happening here apart from these three states. I added this uh, fourth state called on hold with a transition and I want to do something with uh, this particular transition where maybe if I want to send the issue to on hold I can do something. Now we already looked at the two post functions, built-in post functions using a script now for Jira. And I want to continue uh, looking at what, I'll, what else I can do with the, those built-in post functions. Now the post function that we have right now is uh, uh, something that I may want to remove because it is probably, it won't do anything bad, but it will assign the issue to the last assign user and I don't really want to do this do this right now I will get rid of it and I will add a new post function a scripted post scripted post function now we will select the option here script runner post function we'll click on the add button and let us see what else we can do with these built-in post functions I am trying to see different options here we have we already looked at add remove from a sprint assign issue and now today let us take a look at clone issue now cloning an issue can be really interesting maybe you want to clone the issue for some reason uh, maybe you want to duplicate it and send it to a different uh, project uh, they, they can be few use cases so let us see how it works and what all it can copy so I'll uh, name this post function as clone issue same as the name of my post function enable post function yes I want to enable it I don't really want to have further condition so the uh, issue type the target issue type so this is good so basically if you leave it as blank then it will uh, basically use the same issue type and then uh, we have the option for target project leave blank for current project so the good thing is that you can also create a duplicate of this issue maybe in a different uh, project so this can be useful in case you don't really want to use the issue links maybe for some reason you want to duplicate the pro the issue maybe a bug or whatever it is and uh, you want to send it to a different team you can do that and uh, link name so maybe you want to create a link let us create a link I think uh, creating a link makes sense and why not also create uh, this particular issue in a different project so I will probably select a different project maybe I want to right now we are working on Android project maybe I will uh, use bug tracking project and I want to select the issue type as maybe bug so the you can specify the link name and, and the link uh, description uh, not the dis description the direction uh, what else we can also add additional code like maybe you want to add a label or maybe you want to add multi select option set assignee uh, set select list update summary so this is something that you can do let us add a label I think this is good so we will uh, uh, probably just leave this as it is and uh, the good thing is that you can add you can add more code if you want so we now have a new post function and we will uh, publish it and see how it works so basically when you send the issue to on hold it will basically duplicate the issue in a different project in a bug tracking project so if I go to the pro to the project which is Android I was actually working on uh, this particular Android project and I want to open the project first so this can be interesting I think uh, you you have the option to cop create a copy without writing much code I mean we didn't really write a code we just used the I mean in the additional actions we used one snippet so let us copy the bug so we have a bug let us say login functionality it is already on hold I may want to let us open this in a different window maybe um, and uh, okay so we have this issue which is a bug I will move it to to do and then we'll move it back to on hold so let us see how it works and uh, we will see in the new issue in the new project the label will also be updated so let us click on the on hold and uh, let us see how it works so it will also create a link 
it should create a link because we defined a link that should be created so it is not done but uh, i think i'll probably probably refresh this particular uh, issue so we do have a new linked issue in our bt project it says duplicated by and I, and by the way this this uh, direction is something that you can set in the configuration of the post function you can either select inward this inward link or outward link we have talked about this inward and outward links um, in a lot of our videos especially in the video where, where we talked about how to do it using a uh, rest api both using a uh, talent rest api tester and also using a uh, script runner so do take a look at those uh, videos in case you want to know what is the difference between inward and outward link and how to set it using code so let us click on the bt12 and it is definitely the same the same summary copied and uh, you can see here the new label which we added in the code uh, in the additional action so this is interesting i, I quite like it and i think uh, there can be different use cases uh, for this so do do give it a try and uh, and uh, the, the the great thing is that you can do that without uh, writing a single line of code which is always great because people who are learning script for jira if you're new to script for jira these built-in post functions will uh, definitely help you so that is all i wanted to talk about in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much